So I'm gonna remove this uh, rear trailing arm and I gotta replace this uh, bearing carrier because it's broken off. And this, uh, this is all mangled, bent in several ways. So I'm just gonna replace it with a nice straight one. A lot more space in the back, a lot easier to deal with. So let's get started. This is 80 foot-pounds on this, so I don't think the little guy is going to be able to do it, but let's check. Because it's only 75 foot-pound socket thing. Nope. <laughs> to the impact. Switch off the half inch and back to the three eighths. This is all twisted, so it's kind of snug in there. Oh, the bolts came out nice, though. Tie rods removed. So here's the bearing we gotta get out of there and put in the new carrier assembly. Let's see. Oh, not enough juice for this one. Let's see if I get a little helping hand. That's really tight, holy for Jesus. By the way, does uh, the battery power ones ratchet? Yeah, you can ratchet them too the old way. Stabilizer bar. Drop that down, put the nut back here, put them all in the same spot. Yeah, no problem. All right, so the uh, air arm assembly is off. All right, so we're taking off this trailing arm here. Uh, just to reinforce it, it's in good shape. Get a nice snug spot this fits in. If it will turn it, sometimes it doesn't turn these. Oh, these bolts are hitting these bolts, so I'm gonna have to take these bolts off. So it looks like we got it clear from the trailing arm. Yeah, 
And for the last one, we got the beast bolt back in the back rear. So that's what it looks like with uh, no trailing arm. This is a piece I'll be reinforcing in the back here. This uh, dog ear tab. Um, easily bend and will uh, snap off the uh, cast aluminum hub housing.